Welcome back, everyone. Did you hear me? I knew you like that, George. <laughs> he loves when I do something. He loves stuff. Halloween, too. Yes, he loves Halloween. And it's only so six days away. <laughs> and there's still plenty of time to get in the spirit of the season. And it's not too late, George. You can carve a pumpkin. That's right. I don't the internet. Want that. Yeah. The internet is full of tips for making sure your jack o' lantern stays looking fresh and festive until the trick or treaters arrive. So, Becky Worley, she tries some of them out. Good morning, Becky. What you got for us? Spooky Michael, I like it. <laughs> yeah, this, we're carving pumpkins. Um, it is the season, and uh, timing it can be a little bit tricky. Um, heat can really decompose these things fast, but having a putrid, nasty, rotting vegetable on your front porch, that's not exactly the kind of scary we're going for. One minute, you have a cute jack-o'-lantern, and the next... you. <laughs> To find out if there's anything you can do about that, I buy three pumpkins. First, I'll carve one the way I normally do, badly. Is my regular old pumpkin. Mm. Cut the top off, made the little face in the front. Normal pumpkin. Here is a trick to having your pumpkin stay fresh for longer. But you know, the internet has different ideas for preserving my pumpkins. Method one, soak in a diluted bleach and water solution. The idea here is that the bleach kills any bacteria on the outside of the pumpkin that could make it decompose faster. Now, another tip is to cut a hole in the bottom or the back. That's because the actual stem of the pumpkin right here, that's where all its nutrients come from. And for the candle, they say use an electric tea light that generates no heat. Ta-da! But if bleach is a no-go for you, there is another way. Peppermint soap or peppermint oil. You dilute one tablespoon in each quart of water and then you put the pumpkin in it and clean it with a brush. It's a natural antibacterial, so I scrub the pumpkin with the Dr. Browner soap and candy cane aroma strong. Very weird when trying to get into the Halloween vibe. It's starting to look like a pumpkin. And peppermint. Pumpkin. Now, the porch, and it's time to get spooky. <laughs> the first few days of our experiment, we had a heat wave. And after another 24 hours, day three, my bleach pumpkin, little mold in there, but it's holding on. The peppermint pumpkin, doing okay. Uh-oh, normal pumpkin. Looking pretty grim in there. Day four, the morbid creep of time has pushed my normal pumpkin toward the crypt. Ew, my normal pumpkin is now my melted moldy pumpkin. Blech. The peppermint pumpkin did a little better, and then the bleached pumpkin definitely has the best structure of all three. The internet was right. With a little extra effort, you can prolong your pumpkin's short but spooky life. <laughs> Eight days and a heat wave later, and here's what we've got. Uh, my, normal, my normal pumpkin is nasty, peppermint okay, and the only one that's even remotely sort of viable is the bleach pumpkin. Now, a few more things. I did use that bleach spray, and I just sprayed inside of it every day. That seemed to beat down the mold and the nasties. Um, the Internet also says you can use Vaseline or olive oil to kind of uh, keep the mold from growing on those cut parts. And one thing I did learn is if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't cut the bottom of the pumpkin because I couldn't get in there to turn the tea lights on. This thing started to decompose, and trust me, guys, the last thing I wanted to do was put my hand in there. The bugs, the mold, it is definitely creepy crawly over here. <laughs> well, now. Becky, welcome to Halloween. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> pass on that pumpkin. I'm, right? Yeah, I'm going to pass on carving a pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Those are great tips. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.